All right. Positive slope or negative slope? Well, back to our formula. Always start with your formula. M equals rise over run. That's y2 minus y1. That's our difference in height over our difference in left to right, x2 minus x1. So let's pick out two points on this. There's 5, 1 right here, so that's A, and B, which is x value of 3 and a y value, which I messed up here, x value of 1, a y value of 5, and a y value of 5 here. The y value is always 5 because this is a a line, a linear line, that just coasts along from here forever where y equals 5 on this spot here. Okay? So we have our two points. Let's check it out. y2 minus y1. Both our y's are 5. So we're going to get 5 minus 5. Now x2 minus x1. Um, 3 minus 1. Whoops. 3 minus 1. Or it doesn't really matter, it could be 1 minus 3. Regardless, you're going to get a number that is 0 over top of something. Well, 0 over top of something is 0. So what this says is slope is 0, i.e., if you're on your snowboard, you ain't going anywhere. You're just stuck. Okay, so that's this thing. Okay, let's drill it home. You're on your snowboard, or you're skiing, you're not going anywhere, clearly you're not on a slope. You have a slope of zero. Hopefully that makes it connect, okay? D, last one. Well, again, I shouldn't erase that. Start with our formula. This is the case of a perfectly vertical line. Okay, let's pick up some points, any points. Um, Point A is x value of 4, and we have 4 uh, and a y value of 2. Point B, we have an x value of 4 and a y value of 3. Doesn't matter which ones I order. So rise over run is just a little aside, okay? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Always start by writing your formula. Gets it in here, really. Okay. Let's use this as our second one again and use our first one as our first point. We have um, y2 minus y1, okay? So the y value here, right, is x, y. 3 minus 2 over 4 minus 4. Big place where people make mistakes. The numerator is 1, the denominator is 0. Some people call this number 0. If you call that number 0, I will, uh, I don't know, I'll lose it. No, it's not 0. Anything that has a 0 in the denominator is not actually a number. It's called undefined. It's not a number because you can't divide something that you have here into 0 groups. Because if you did, then you would negate that it existed to begin with. Very philosophical, okay? Math and philosophy are like this. But that's where this comes from. You can't divide something into zero. So the answer is not zero. What you would say is M is undefined. Should make shortcuts in your notes, okay? When you have a perfectly up and down slope, it is undefined because your denominator, when you use the formula, which you're supposed to use every time, equals zero. And if you have the zero denominator, it's undefined.